welcome to another episode on the Mind Rocking SMP. So last week, um, or last episode, we went through and we did a load of shopping. And we got ourselves some tools and we got some shulkers and we got some boom. Uh, so we managed to buy up boom's supply of TNT. And I think we're going to go and make use of this now. Um, we are going to go and blow a rather large hole in the nether. Um, I need to go over to my star area because that's where my nether portal is. And we're going to take a trip over to... Um, I don't want to blow a big hole in the nether in and around where all of our bases are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my desert that I go to to collect all my sandstone. And we're going to use the nether over there because that's well out of the way. And we're going to blow a big hole and try and get ourselves some netherite. So that's what we're going to do first of all. So we shall see you soon in the nether, ready to go and make a bit of a mess. So this is the setup that I use when I'm mining netherite. We have a hole of lava. Uh, this is my bin to get rid of all of the netherite that we're going to cut through because there's going to be a lot of it. I have a double chest, this is where I can store all of the stuff that I'm not, is not going in my bin. We have a crafting table, uh, very useful for getting rid of all gold nuggets and turn those to ingots or blocks. Uh, same with the quartz possibly. And then we have our ender chest. Notice we are at Y12. Um, my tunnel was at Y110. All the way up there. Uh, basically, I went to the side of the tunnel. I cut out and dug down until I hit thin air and then floated down and just tunneled straight up. So we actually have, if we go up here a little bit, we just have a one wide corridor all the way up and as you can see, I've just pillared up with cobble and if you can hear, there are mobs outside this because that's all bare. So, what we're going to do now I've started. We have a tunnel. Tunnel goes about. Doesn't need to be huge because uh, we're actually going to go sideways. And our first piece of ancient debris. So yeah, the tunnel doesn't need to be huge. Um, what we're going to do? I'm going to count out about. Five to uh, about eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to go that way. Brilliant. And we are going to go this way. Now, each stack of TNT will get you around about 300 blocks. Now, rather than doing one one line, I'm going to do mine going either side of me. And as we're about 866, so I'm going to go down to 700 and up to 1,000 with my tunnels. I've got about three stacks of TNT, so we're going to do three of those. And each one of these is separated by seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The tunnel number two is going to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's that sorted then. So, as we now hang C, we have one, two, and three tunnels. He says, three tunnels, got to wind up them. Um, all going all the way down to either that goes down to 700. This goes up to 50, uh, 1,000. So now what we're going to do is the fun part. So we need to run all the way down to the end of one of our tunnels. So we've got another 50 odd blocks to go down here. And when we get to the end of our tunnel place the TNT and then what we do is ideally every four blocks so one two three four you place another TNT now that takes a while so what we do is we basically just look in the roughly right direction we run backwards and we just spam the button 
and you'll get a decent enough room that this will actually work. Some of them will be a little bit further apart. Some of them will be a little bit further apart, uh, closer together. Not the end of the world, as long as you are close to every four blocks, you'll be fine. Not going to cost you anything. Now what I'm going to do with mine is I do like to leave a little gap. There we go. Just before we get to the end, this just makes our life a little bit easier um, when it comes to mob spawning. Because, all right, there's not a huge amount of mobs going to spawn while we're like this. When we open this up, you'll get piglins. Depending upon the uh, biome you're in, you may get uh, skeletons. You may end up with um, magma cubes and stuff like that. And they can be a real pain. So if we have this little corridor section right at the end, then if we do get overwhelmed, we can just literally run out, run away, and then it funnels them all into this little area, which makes killing them a little bit easier if you do get a little bit OTT. Once we've done that, we grab our trusty flame bow. We shoot the TNT, we give it a little bit of space. And it will start going kaboom. And as long as you're four blocks away, it will just chain quite away. Um, three as well. If you get to a stage where you're five blocks away, it will stop. Um, so that one might be a bit further. Or if it gets to um, out of um, the distance, so if it drops off the end of the uh, the four chunks, the fifth chunk, um, then that will stop as well. Uh, so once it's out of simulation distance, that's going to stop. But all we need to do now is we swap out from our TNT. We grab our trusty Neverack. We block off any lava that pops up. And we have a hunt. See if we can find the lovely Neverack. So any lava that's down there, not Neverack, um, ancient debris. Any lava will just pull away once you get rid of the source. We do want to pick up any gold that we can spot as well. You do have to be careful of, obviously, Piglins, if you're collecting gold, they will um, aggro to you um, if you stop mining the gold blocks. But we're just having a hunt around, seeing what we can find. Uh, mining out all of the ancient debris that we come across. It can be rather wise if you find ancient debris. Just clear out a little space around it. Sometimes they can be a few blocks apart, so if you see one in the side of the wall... It may be that there is another one nearby, so it's always worth just giving it a bit of a, a circle around. But we will be grabbing all of the gold, which we are going to need to turn this wondrous ancient debris into neverite ingots. And I may come back in and clear up any of the... Uh, quartz that we've got as well just to see because we are going to need quartz for redstone components and as such but yeah only other lava that you can see just block it off at the top um and that will then get rid of the little lava columns that appear because they're down at this height it's only generally single blocks of lava so you only have to kill the one and it will just clear the rest of it out but especially on a server make certain that you're picking up all of your neverack that has exploded um, leaving blocks lying around can cause lag, so uh, be kind to your server mates. And if you are doing this on a multiplayer world, make sure that you pick up any of the uh, blocks that you're uh, dropping, just because otherwise it can cause you some issues and server size, uh, server size, and some lag to the server as well. So uh, I'm going to go through, finish blowing up the rest of this uh, TNT. Placing a load more. And we'll see where we get through. How much Neverack we can get through. See how much ancient debris we can pick up.
so with that all done um, as you can see we have lots of big open tunnels going all the way down we got our three tunnels done and we turned our three stacks of dynamite into 55 ancient debris not quite a full stack but nah it's enough it gives us enough that we can get all of our uh, main tools our armor all into netherite uh, we got enough gold to uh, get that all sorted as well so what we're going to do now we're going to go take our shulker of goodies and we are going to go up my ladder and head back to our base and we shall get this uh, ancient debris through a um, a furnace, turn it into some neverite scraps, make our neverite ingots, and we shall be fully blinged out. Um, and so uh, that will should in theory be the last of our armor, bar any uh, major deaths or anything like that. So hopefully we're all good. We shall see you back on the uh, the top side, and we will go from there. So we are back at my working base and we shall grab our ancient debris. Um, this is still my furnace system at this precise moment in time. Uh, yeah, I have two furnaces uh, that I stole from this uh, armorer when we first landed in this village. Um, so that's going to do me for the time being. We are going to build a furnace over at my uh, base. That's going to happen very shortly. Um, some of you that were slightly more eagle-eyed than others, I actually have already spotted it. Um, but that's going to get sorted out soon. We're just going to wait for these to uh, smell up. And then we shall go and visit my wondrous friends inside here that have their uh, armorous tables and we shall get everything upgraded uh, we're gonna need some gold to go alongside that i can go and stick all of this in my stone house uh, get that nicely organized but yeah give this a minute or two to uh get up and running get it all smelted and then we shall uh Get us upgraded and get out of these tacky blue grey gear into some rather shiny uh, purple stuff. Right then, so that should, there we go. 28 scraps there. 27 over there. Um, let's grab. My chest plate out of there. Thirteen netherite ingots. Hello. So let's jump on here. We shall chuck you. I will upgrade my sword. You want a fortune pick? We'll have a silk touch pick. We'll have an Everight shovel. We have an Everight axe. Uh, we need to take off all the rest of my gear. We got a helmet, trousers, boots. Uh, we can now throw my chest plate, the scraps, and my ingots in Mr. the chest. Let's get dressed. And there we go. We're all shiny and purple. So, uh, yeah, that is us fully upgraded. Um, there are a few little extra enchants that I want to stick on my helmet. But by that, we are fully good to go. Um, so with that, I think we'll leave that for the rest of today. And we shall see you in the next episode from the Mime Rocking SMP. But enjoy yourselves. See you guys soon. Bye.